What's up guys, Quinn here, and in this video I wanted to talk to you about four money mistakes to avoid. Now in previous videos I've talked about different ways to save money and how to go about doing so, but I not only wanted to give you some good tips, I also wanted to make sure you're staying away from bad money decisions. So let's jump in and get started. Number one is don't spend more money than you make. Now this might sound like an obvious one, but in 2019, just over 73% of Canadians had some type of outstanding debt and 30% of Americans had student loan debt that kept them from buying a house or car. So at the end of the day, big lesson here is do not spend more money than you make. Now the easiest way to go about this is by tracking your expenses and creating a budget, just like I had mentioned in my 7 money saving tips video. And by paying yourself first. After you receive your paycheck, you put a certain amount of money aside that you want to save or need to save, and then you can take the rest of the money left over and allocate it to the different categories in your budget. This ensures that you're saving a consistent amount every single month. Now number two is do not buy a new car. Buying a new car is one of the worst financial decisions you can make because your car depreciates so much just by the time you drive it off the lot. Cars in general are a depreciating asset which simply means that over time, the car loses more and more value, aka more and more money. To avoid this, the best thing to do is buying a used car that is still in very good condition. This way, you're avoiding extremely high interest and insurance on your new car loan and getting away with a much lower one for your used car. Now, number three is don't keep too much money out of investments. This usually applies to people that don't know how to invest their money or are concerned about the risks of investments. But the more concerning fact is that if you're not investing a large portion of your money each year because of inflation, your money is actually losing a lot of its buying power. With the average inflation rate increasing about 2% every year, that means that $100 that you've saved will only be worth about $98 in the next year. Now, you always want to keep money easily accessible for an emergency or for anything in the short term, but anything beyond that, it's a good idea to start investing it. Now, if you still don't know where to invest your money, I'll be getting into where you should start investing it in my next video, so stay tuned. That reminds me that if you like this video, go hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more personal finance tips and tricks. But now let's move on to number four. Don't invest in anything you don't understand. If you're unsure of what you're investing in, or you don't completely understand the risks associated with it, do not spend your money on it. You want to make sure that you've looked into the risks and benefits of what you're investing in, so you can make informed decisions and understand the long-term outlook of what you're doing. This way you aren't panicking or getting emotional if your investments go through a small dip, and so you can become okay with the possible fluctuations. But now that you guys have a better idea of what not to do with your money, and how to avoid these mistakes. Try to abide by these to help with your financial goals in life. Now, don't forget to go hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to comment any questions you have or anything you want to see in upcoming videos. Now next time, I'll be getting into the details of investing to help you on your journey to make more money. See you guys next time.